Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Kill Frantitious with a Butter Knife. Hi, name is Fen over here. Uh, welcome everybody, old and new. Uh, I want to thank Frozen Foxy again at the risk of thanking someone too much, and I guess that can happen. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, I'm Fen, and I do commentary on games, and I don't take myself too seriously. It's pretty fun. I guess this is a notice about thy continuing payment of of rent, non-payment of rent, and it's got this weird enter key thing that's... It's the same note as in the first mission. You can pause and read it if you like. I guess I'm not going to shoot myself. I don't know why, uh... Oh, I'm not supposed to not let myself see me. I'm getting confused. Let's go out of here. Apparently, Frantitious is supposed to follow behind uh, Alicia at some kind of a safe distance here. So, uh, I'm going to completely of my own volition and... Com Completely of my own stupidity. Totally find three guards that really have no apparent connection to Frantitious, but nevertheless, I'm gonna cheese them and totally knock them out anyways. Because Frantitious simply cannot be trusted. He might be a changeling disguising himself as a guard. That sounds plausible, right? 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 The other one went somewhere else? Oh boy. Oh, there he is. Well, this is sure is an exciting party. Too bad he doesn't just step into the river like AI sometimes do. You can sometimes make them go really close to the edge and then save and reload. And they will fall in. It's it's kind of what I did on my first playthrough of Roxburg 3 in that one part in the dark zone. I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, well, none of these counted as frantitious. I really don't know what their deal is. But, uh, Frantitious Delicious is not gonna get his ice cream today, no sir. Uh, also, they kind of came through... Why well, everybody just marches through poor Kevil's house? Poor Kevil and also poor his wife, even though she's kind of an obvious stereotypical nagging type person, she is actually pretty funny. Although you wouldn't want to say that to her face, because she'd nag you to death, because she's run DMC. Yes, I said deaf, not death, because it's like a music reference or something. I don't know, man. I'm gonna look for my dude. I hear somebody. I don't know if it's him. And I also don't know if it's even in this particular hallway. Kinda hard to tell. Oh, wait, wait. What? No. Oh, this looks a guy who's stuck, isn't it? How do I get around? Hmm. Alright, let's go and see. Yes, it's a guy who's stuck. It's pretty amazing. Oh, he's unstuck now, and free to kill me. Well, that's that's good news. Also, as you can see, I'm completely socially inept in, in how I start my videos, you know? I'm just like, hey, uh, I guess I should shout somebody out. I'm gonna trip over my tongue, but I guess that what makes me... It's what makes me totally adorable or something. Uh, that guy is going to interfere with my ability to hear steps of somebody who might be possibly more important, so... It is for that reason that I'm kind of just going to, uh, you know, destroy his face before anything else happens to happen. What? I see. So he's kind of over there. Well, out you go, I suppose. I don't suppose it matters if Frantis just sees anybody. Um, maybe I should go and recheck that little hint I got, but maybe not, because this time I'm going to try to do it without hints uh, and, and stuff. And you know what might have happened is maybe Frantitious didn't come because he's too far away. I think that happens in the engine sometimes, but maybe not. But I don't know. Also, I'm given to understand that the power plant might be the keeper place because it's a central building. At least it looks like it's in the center of something. Uh, you know, it's just me though. I mean, what do I know about centers? Certainly not much. Whoa, hey. I am in, in a place. I jumped over the wall and there's... Oh. It's, it's, it's this. Wait a minute. This is the other side of this. <laughs> Why are we here? That's insanity. Tilted crates? What sort of messiness is this? Clean it up. Yeah, yeah. You, raindrops, clean it up. Well, this probably just leads back in the ye old industrial section of town, which is... What? I didn't do it right. This is wood, isn't it, buddy? No. Kind of looks like it, but but that that looks like wood though. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, that trick I do with rope arrows—it's actually quite simple. You know, you you gotta just you're you're on an arrow, and 
you can't pick it and then jump, because if you pick it... Oh, maybe you can, but usually you can't. What I do is you jump and then you quickly tap the pick key, like... Like that, and that way you kind of get it, it's amazing. However, now to go into... Oh yeah, that's just the crates I jumped over. Man, well hello my fine group of former friends. How goes the napping? I see. Good. Good. Well hello there my fine friends of barrels. How goes the exploding? I see. Fantastic great. Well, this looks like some water. It seems like there could be a power plant up here somewhere, such as here. I don't know. Power plants have big old horizontal windows in weird places. Totally, don't they? Oh, -ho. looks like I might have actually hit the friggin' jackpot. That's insanity. That's not supposed to have happened yet. I object to being given loot and having the mission made easier and also winnable. This is totally... Oh. Keeper Orlet. These are ominous times, my brother. Despite our careful warnings, the wayward chief alchemist acts without regard to the health of our city, where his followers continue his alarming rust substance experiments to a purpose not yet revealed. Film clip. Considering the rise of these mechanists, let us hope that we will not again require young Garrett to save our city. The necessary deceptions are so very difficult, and each time we deal with him, the chances grow that he may discover what he should not see. Just now I receive a new report, a power surge consistent with yet another teleportation event in breach of our agreement with the Chief Alchemist. So I must straight away investigate, even if it delays my arrival tonight. Until, they, until then instruct the brethren to watch most carefully those wayward Hammerites who pledge loyalty to this Karras. Perhaps we will soon discover his plans and learn how to limit him without undoing those benefits we have from his service. What? On another point, we have a new threat which reveals itself in a most unlikely form. Lady Alicia, daughter to Master Celestis. She is again pried about old libraries seeking what she can learn of us. And judging from her newest reading list, the dear lady has become too interested in our existence and practices. Many curious fools have sought the same knowledge without concern to us, but this situation is alarming in how Lady Alicia might use such knowledge. For soon she will inherit the vast wealth and power of the only institution in this city where we have no proper influence, her father's estate. So, therefore, we must undermine Alicia before she can become a greater danger. The High Council suggests that we further incite the rising hatred of those slaves and servants toiling upon the mountain of Celestis Industries. If all works as planned, a rebellion from within should destroy the Enterprise, and moreover, remove the dynasty of Celestis it represents. Lastly, we are certain the bastard of the king wanders the streets, and so Keeper Phocetheus... Really? So Phocetheus the Just is a Keeper? Interesting. Continues to press our campaign against all feral children. What? Jesus Christ, Keepers, you sure have fallen from grace. Once the king dies with no heirs, it should be a simple matter to insert whomever we desire upon the throne. A pity that so many wayward children must perish, but such is a price we must be willing to pay for our own freedom in the face of tyrants and evildoers. Oh, really? Hey, Garrett, say something snarky. All right, I'll say it for you. Huh, keepers, I never knew you were so... evil. That's not a very good one. Nevertheless, whatever, I've completed that objective, so now... As soon as I kill, or well, indirectly kill Frantitius, my objective should be totally complete. Since I haven't failed that objective, I'm, you know, presuming that, you know, he is going to be somewhere and has not just sort of despawned or whatever. Guessing that if I'd seen Alicia walking, she would have walked down there. What is that guy? There's a guy walking up this way. What the hell? He looks like a thief, but is he just a random thief or is he my guy? Why would he be coming back here? Okay, I haven't alerted him. Hey. He looks special. That might be my man. Crap. Better get something done. Okay, kill him indirectly. Let me think now. I've taken care of all the guards that I know about. I think. So, I could try to glitch him into some water. I could... Uh, I don't have any frog beast eggs. That would be too easy, right? Yeah, all the other stuff. I cannot use my own weapons. I wonder if I was supposed to have those guards fight with him, but they're probably his guards. Let me ponder this for a second. Well... 
I heard someone. My original plan was to look in the bar, but I heard someone. Ah, uh, ha. Hey, you. Get over here. What, you don't care about me? Oh, come on now. Do I have... I've got six noisemakers. Well, now, I don't know if that guard is going to be unfriendly to this guy, but it's worth a shot. Like so many other things in life, I guess. I'm trying to be profound. Not really succeeding. Hey, you. Kind of go over that way kindly, if you'd please. If you could hear that. March on over there. I've got five Cease more the likes of that. Surrender. You'll be the one who'll be surrendering. Your life? Wow. I'm the pun master. Well, perhaps you need a little closer coaxing. Over there. It's a noise arrow. Made some noise. Go investigate it. You're curious, right? Heroes are curious. They, they investigate things. You look like Christmas. With the red and the green and not a good kind of happy Christmas. You're right here, right now. Never mind, never mind. It's time for plan B. Oh, okay. I'm going to set you two up on a nice date. And hopefully you hit him. So that he becomes evil to you. Come on, come on. Shoot at me. What? Hey, it's, 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 it's a feral kid. What the hell? Judy, I want to give Judy to you. You're totally obviously the Judy. Well, no, you're not. Also, why aren't you shooting? Come on. Time for... Come on. Ah, get hit, guard. That's how it works, right? Is it like in Doom where somebody shoots somebody and they become enemies? I'm hoping that's how it works. Because this guy's not cooperating. Come on. Like, what, is he afraid of shooting the kid or what? That'd be funny. You know, because he's evil and uncaring. <laughs> and he doesn't like kids. But don't tell anyone. Because I just made it up. You, get over there. And you, way over there... Get over here. There! Now you two can meet and have a nice night of romance and, you know, passion if that's your thing or, you know, just absolutely nothingness if that's your thing. I don't know. You you can't quit each other, right? I'm holding a watch in front of your face and making you repeat that phrase. By which I mean shooting a noisemaker. I don't know what's the deal with that kid, but I'm trying to make sure she doesn't die. Now! I said I was setting them up, but in fact it would be better if they didn't get along. Oh, and this guy sees me. Well, thanks a lot, you friggin' idiot. I was in total darkness. Well, this isn't going to work so well. Alright, well. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. You! Oh! Hit him, hit him, hit him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Wow. I get the feeling like this is not necessarily the recommended method. I don't know what makes me think. <laughs> it's just something I think. I think I have to stop moving for this guy to shoot, but I have to move because this guy is going to get me. Jeez. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. The Finn had a wonderful, awful idea. Hey, you! Over here! I am totally not a distractionary decoy. You have to follow me. So ordered... The orders. Well, if you don't want to follow me, then maybe I can coax you by running away very far like a coward. You hate cowards, right? Everybody hates cowards, so get over here! Wow, this is going to take absolutely forever! Holy smokes. Well, see you at the goal. Well, he's coming along an inch at a time, you know. Gotta train him and all. Because <coughs> he's my pet. He bites, so, you know, don't... At him. And by bites, I mean he throws magic, but let's be honest, the effect will be much the same. He'll be dead. And, and poisoned. And unhappy. Come on, little Franny. Come on. Come on, little Franny Knickers. Franny. Franny Knickers, bow on the head. Angel draws. Whoa! You may not be stuck on that fence with the 83 Cadillac. Oh, good. Super clever types and those with good memories, who may overlap, might know where I'm going with this. But I'm not going to spoil the surprise for anyone who doesn't know. Ho ho! Oh, greetings, Frontitious. Let us shake hands on the deal. Oh yes, oh, oh, that's a funny handshake. Oh. You. You missed, you missed the handshake, you missed, you missed the handshake. Dude, you missed it! Dude! Mi Soon you will join
Yes, Garrett, indeed. Mm -hmm. Somehow yeah. I have six healings again. I really don't know how that happened, as I know I used a whole bunch. Maybe I found some more. Yeah, that's probably it. Imagine that! Imagine that! Oh, man. Come on, now we're almost there. Don't go straying on the path here. You must walk the enlightened way towards your totally gory demise. That's what the sort of false light demon would say, maybe, kind of. Did I just say false? Oh my god, that's a crime. I'm supposed to totally be making fun of that all the time. Although, maybe not. That's it. That's it. It's all gonna be okay. Come over here. Come over here. Mama's gonna keep being a totally condescending pretend parent to you. It's all gonna be good. Alright, I think it's time to end this. I ain't getting away anywhere. You, go inside there. You're interested in noise, right? Look at that. Don't disturb them. <laughs> He's dead. And does it count? What? Uh-oh. Do not gas... That better be because it's irrelevant or something, because I did not gas nor blackjack him, and if that counted as that, then it's kind of a shame, but it looks like it's going to end anyway. Now my movie recording seems to skip about a bit, but I guess it's fair price to pay. Bunch of loot missed I didn't really explore enough, actually, but, well, it's not like I have done that enough anyways. I don't know, maybe I'll show off some easter eggs in a bonus video or something. But anyways, next time I'll continue on to the next mission, whatever it may happen to be. And I guess I don't really need any of these anymore. I'll keep the last one just in case, however. Oops. No, actually, yeah. Oh man, just debating technical naming issues when I'm still recording. How unprofessional of me. Well, next time will be that sort of thing, and uh, it'll be pretty fun. Moving right along here. Okay, see you guys later. So, uh, bye for now. To be redundant. Bye.